Mama for Nicole coming to you with an empties video. I am going to try and start not putting um, as much stuff that you guys see all the time in this empties basket because as you can see um, the size of my empties that's why I do it so frequently. Um, I think almost maybe once a week um, and then also because we are a large family so we do go through products pretty quickly. Um, it's definitely hard to keep a stockpile here. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to try not like the laundry soap, things like that. Unless it's something new, I'm going to put it in here. Um, but yeah, I just want to make room for stuff that you guys haven't seen before or in a while. So this is actually something new and it's fabric softener and it smells like baby. This I got at 99 cent store. I would repurchase this. I really, really liked it and I liked the scent. You know what this was really good with was blankets and um, and uh, towels. The other thing I went through, I actually use this as air freshener. Um, so I just wanted to get rid of it. It's empty now. Um, I love Gain Fabric Softener. It's actually my favorite. So got that one from the Dollar Tree would definitely repurchase this you guys just saw in my haul it's just put in my empties because i poured it in my little um push top container but you guys know dollar tree uh nail polish remover works awesome sometimes i do think like at certain stores you can get it cheaper maybe like 88 cents something like that so this i went through and i did want to share this with you guys I got this at 99 cent store for $1.99 so it is a great deal I have another one on backup and next time I go even though I'm on strike for savings um, I am gonna pick up some more this is hair dye and what I wanted to show you guys I don't dye all of my hair just because you know I have very very long hair and I don't want it to fry um, basically what I do is dye my grays what was really cool about this brand in particular is it came with a thing like this that you could just pour it on your head and rub it in but also this so i brushed it through my my grays basically and i love that that it came with both because i was able to do that and then with the rest i did like kind of like the back of my head but i don't do the middle of my hair the ends of my hair anything like that it's black anyways i'm just getting the grays out and so I like this because it did have the conditioning treatment. Um, of course, this was one use for me, but it was large. It would probably be two to three, probably three uses for medium to short hair. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend this hair dye. The only thing I will say about this is it does have a strong scent. But I go as long as I can in between dyeing my hair just because me personally I don't think it's too good for your hair like for example I didn't dye my hair at all during pregnancy even though the doctor said oh you know halfway through the pregnancy it's okay but there's no studies backing it up either or if it was okay or if it wasn't scientifically so I just try not to to dye it as much um or as little as possible but this is a good hair dye it's just the fumes were like whoa actually when I dye my hair and the reason why I let it go so bad is because I don't like Frankie smelling that hair dye I don't know I'm weird like that I think it's gonna kill his brain cells or something so I uh, go as long as I can and I kind of sit in the bathroom with the um, we call it the fart fan on or I'll sit outside with the hair dye in my hair as long as I can um, another item, actually Frank just gave this to me. Let me smell it. It is shampoo plus conditioner. Ooh, it smells good. He liked it. I just put in some Axe shampoo in there as a replacement. He just emptied that today. You guys don't see a ton of shampoo products all the time for me because you guys know I go through like three or four at a time. But speaking of, finally went through the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy um, Shampoo. You guys saw a while ago I went through oops, the uh, conditioner. Um, 
I think I do have backup. That is something I will repurchase. I am going through my stockpile. My hair got used to it, so I have switched over to others. So, if you guys know me, you guys know this was my first Dollar Tree. I mean Dollar Tree. I wish these are at Dollar Tree. My first um, Bath and Body Works candle, and it was actually used, and it was given to me by my mother-in-law. Now this is dashing through the snow. This smells like Christmas trees um, or like cedar. I can tell you guys, it could be just this scent, but my Kohl's candles smell throughout the whole apartment. This barely did my bedroom. So maybe if I could, you know, actually buy one I'm not going to even um and I didn't care for this scent either I'm not going to even scrape you know that out and put it in my scentsy burner I'm glad it's kind of gone um I know some of my friends here does don't like to use candles or scents that aren't in season I don't care however I cared about this I'm just not a fan of like the Christmas tree cedar kind of smell um, but yeah, I don't understand what you guys are talking about with these Bath and Body Works candles. But like I said, it may just be that one, you know, that scent. But um, yeah, just not a fan. Went through, this is from Michaels, a, um, those waxes. These are something you see all the time, but you won't be seeing the ibuprofen because I find I found a better deal. And then um, the uh, probiotic, got that at Dollar Tree, both of those. And I have all my kids carry one of these hand sanitizers in their backpacks. And Justice just brought me this. He finished one, which makes me proud. The younger boys don't bring it back to me, so that means they don't use it. So... Oh, and I've got some makeup for you guys, too. Hopefully, this won't be too long. Let me try and go quick. So, Frank also gave this to me. This is L'Oreal Men Expert uh, Face Wash. This is an icy gel. Got this at $0.99 cent store for $0.99. Cents. Um, I have another one on backup. I did ask him, do you want me to give you the other one? And he says he wants to try a different one. He likes switching just like we all do, like I do. I think I got him into that because... He would usually use the same product forever until he saw me switching. So I just gave him, um, I forget the brand, but I gave him like, you know, one that I got in my beauty box to try out. But I recommend that. I've even tried that when I forget to put my um, face cleanser because I started taking my face cleanser out my expensive ones because Frank and, and Justice start using it. And I'm like, no, you guys use the men's stuff. So I forgot to put it back in. And um, so I used that and it works great. Went through a Z Quill and uh, these work okay. The melatonin, especially from Dollar Tree, work way better. So I went through this. Now, the one at Dollar Tree has talc in it, which if you guys see the commercials, I'm in Texas, it has been linked to cause uh, ovarian cancer. So I threw out my Dollar Tree one. So then at Walmart, I found this one and it's not Summer's Eve, it's FDS. So it was like a dollar cheaper than Summer's Eve, but the reason why I bought it, and I don't know if it's gonna show up because it's white, but there is no talc in here. Um, this is the baby powder scent. I'm not going to purchase any of these kind of sprays. I use them for when it's a time of the month to freshen up down there, but I also use baby wipes. I wipe with baby wipes during the top of the month because you guys, ever since Frankie, my nose is so sensitive. I just don't do, you know, certain smells. I, I like, like, even if, you know, somebody has bad breath, I tell them like, uh, oh, you need to go brush your teeth. And so I just wasn't dealing, I didn't want to deal with, you know, the time of the month smell. And um, so I got that. Frank said this stuff stinks to high heaven because he'd go in the bathroom after me and he'd smell this baby powder stuff. And yeah, it really doesn't like, I don't know. It 
to me it really doesn't work all that great and um, we also don't know how safe it is you know there could be something in it that later on that is a sensitive area that is like an opening you know things like that even if you're just spraying it on the outside I don't know I'm just not gonna be I then that may be t uh, TMI but I'm just not gonna be purchasing that or that kind of product again went through a Vaseline that I got in one of my beauty boxes won't purchase a full size it's nothing special at all to me and went through a couple samples went through some eye cream nothing special it is a thick formula so I heard I hear that the thick because I'm just now getting into eye creams the thicker eye creams are better but it was not enough to um, what even brand is this I think L'Oreal or something wasn't enough for me to give you guys like where I saw results but trying to go through these little samples here and then this smelled great I cut this at the mall I don't even know this company um, Dior 24k luxury skincare body butter lavender it smelled great it, these are little tiny samples it was one use for my arms and hands that's it it smelled great can't give you a the uh, long-term results on that now this I got in one of my beauty boxes it is called parlor par parlor by Jeff Chaston they included the shampoo and then this little last full packet you guys know I hate of course this wasn't enough for my hair will not purchase this drugstore works way better not impressed at all left my hair like a little I don't know like dry feeling so um yeah not a fan at all and you guys I went through some makeup well the first thing is I went through this cute little Colgate toothpaste probably should have saved this for my purse or something but you guys know toothpaste does expire um not so sure on y'all's take but I'd only use it if it was a couple months expired I don't know just the toothpaste I think it even changes the formula so if you have a ton of samples start going through them slowly we keep toothpaste in our shower and of course by the sink um, it's just a good idea because you know you tend not to grab these you save them for travel and then by the time you use them they're expired so here I am trashing this this is Fergie the shimmer eyeshadow primer I got this from um, Dollar Tree when they brought the Fergie products and um, it's the shimmer one if you guys can see there this stuff sucks it ruined my eyeshadow I tried it a good three times this is full it's not even something I will give to somebody it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't, It, I don't like it at all. At all. I received some e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow primer in a uh, friend package. I think from Amanda, I'm not sure. And I like that way better. So I just don't want this taking up room in my makeup bins. And uh, I'm getting rid of it. Went through the Benefit, their Real Mascara love this stuff was so sad to see it empty let me show you guys the the wand here I like it because at the end it has those little bristles as well and uh, really like this I will be considering purchasing a full size of this um, but I just love going through samples this one I'm not impressed with at all and it is from elf I think I got this in friend mail I think or I purchased this I'm not sure um, try to use it once and uh, I mean this thing is full it is a no-go and let me see if I can oops I got some on my hand it is real thick and clumpy it is like a glob once you put it on your eyelashes 
I mean, I even tried thinning this stuff out with, um, like, um, eye drops and yeah. Hold on. You guys, mm, let me see. You guys see that? It's just like the formula is crap. It's just like globs. So when you put it on your eyelashes, it's literally just globs. It puts them all together. Like I said, I've tried to thin it out. There's nothing I can do. It is garbage. Don't waste your money. It is elf length, lengthening, lengthening. Oh, I can't talk today. Defining and, um, oh, defining mascara. Yeah, y'all do not waste your dollar two dollars three dollars i'm just glad i only wasted a dollar and guys that is my empties for the week i hope you enjoyed this if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button i do save my empties to give you guys my review whether it was worth the money and uh worth not i have all my family giving me their empties as well the family in my household that is just so I can bring these videos to you guys. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you're notified when I make these weekly empty videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.